know I'm back, like I never left. I never left. Another sprint, another step, another step, another day, another breath. Another breath. Been chasing dreams, but I never slept. I never slept. I got a new attitude that at least on life is a peace of mind. Seeking to find I can sleep when I die. Want a piece of the pie, got the keys to the ride and shit. I'm straight. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Get up my way. I'm running late. What can I say? I heard you die twice. Once when they bury you in the grave. And the second time is the last time that somebody mentioned. Good morning, FHN. I'm Camden Seymour. And I'm Eli Vanderkalk, and we have a great show for you today, FHN, home of the Mighty Huskies. Yes, Eli. We are here to host this wonderful episode on today, October 6th. Cam, we should start off this show with a funny joke. I'd love to hear a joke to start my day. Go ahead, Eli. What do you call a person with no body or nose? Good question. What do you call them? Nobody knows. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm ruffling right now. <laughs> Thank you, Cam. I like to think of myself as a jack of all trades, master of none. Wow, that is a very sophisticated way of thinking. All my girlfriend's parents consider me a gentleman and a scholar. Very smart words from a very smart man. Now let's send it to the two people who are very scholarly. Over to you, Lily and Chloe. Good morning, Northern. I'm Lily Dahlquist. And I'm Chloe Diller, and we have your announcements for today. Lily, you can take the first one. Thanks, Chloe. Makeup pictures are this Friday, October 9th. If you need an order form, there's extras in the office. If you are getting dropped off in the morning, make sure your parents pull all the way up in the drop-off area to avoid backup on Leonard. Half of the senior lot is now open for parking. The bus lot is off limits. Anyone who parks there will get a violation. All parking passes were given out last week. If you do not have an upper lot pass, don't park in the upper lot. Speaking of people without upper lot passes, on October 14, 2020, we will be giving our current juniors the opportunity to take the PSAT. Only juniors will report to FHN on that day. Juniors will receive an email on Monday, October 12th with test day details. Chloe, are you a part of the Senior Advisory Board? No, do you have any information about that? I don't, but Sophia made a video on all the information we need to know. Let's roll that now. I'm Sophia Moran reporting for FHN TV and today you will be hearing Ms. Damon talk about the Senior Advisory Board. Hi seniors, I'm Mrs. Damon. Uh, Mrs. Irwin and I are your senior class advisors. So we put together a Senior Advisory Board every year that includes any senior who wants to be involved. Um, and it is a group of students who are in charge of just a few things. We are in charge of senior retreat, which we are pushing to April this year. Um, and we are in charge of deciding on your senior gift. You might not know, but like the rock um, and the water bottle filling stations, um, those are all senior gifts that's, that senior classes leave to the school after they leave. We um, help with graduation. Um, and then we plan a baccalaureate, which is a really fun service that you do right before graduation. So it's just a, it's a fun group to be a part of. Um, you guys help put the ceiling tiles in the ceiling. So like all the fun stuff that seniors do, um, you guys are a big part of. So to be involved, um, all you have to do is contact me or Mrs. Irwin and just let us know that you want to be a part of it. But we want the more the merrier. As many people want to be involved as possible. Well, there you go, Northern. Seniors, make sure to check that out. I'm Sophia Moran reporting for FHN TV. Have a great day. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sophia, for that information. The FHN Theater Department has been given permission to produce a play in this fall, so watch for more information regarding that coming up very soon. Auditions will take place later in October. You should receive an email every morning to fill out a health screener. If you forget to fill it out, you will get a reminder at 8 a.m. If it is not filled out, you will receive a reminder call from the high school. Students that are marked at risk should not be in attendance at school. If a student marked at risk shows up to school, they will be asked to return home. Sign-ups for the AP exams are coming soon. Look for more information regarding registering for the AP exams next week. Only a few days left for the burrito fundraiser. Seniors, be sure to get out and sell those burritos. 
Looks like that is the final announcement for this Tuesday. That's all we have for you today. I'm Lily Dahlquist. And I'm Chloe Diller. Let's send it back to Cam and Eli. Thanks, Lily and Chloe. We appreciate you spreading the word. Mm-hmm. I love the news. I like how we can know what's going on at the home of the Huskies. It keeps my sophisticated mind moving. I think Josh Allen is the greatest quarterback of all time, though. Well, I think Draymond Green is a way better quarterback. But he puts up like 30 fantasy points a week. Well, I think we should send it to sports and see what they have to say about the sports. I agree with that statement. Let's send it to John, Paul, and Allie right now. And I'm J.P. Smolinski. And we have your sports announcements for today. This past Friday, the Huskies had their first win against Grand Rapids Christian. The final score was 22-0. Let's keep that winning streak and beat Greenville this Friday. The cross-country team had a big race this past Saturday. Lots of personal bests and season bests. Great work, Huskies. Watch for more scores and personal bests later in the week as the Varsity Huskies compete in two varsity meets. The boys' tennis team won the conference tournament on Friday. They began their March to Finals week. Swim and Dive takes on FHC tonight at the Aquatic Center. Girls Volleyball takes on Lowell today and Byron Center Thursday. Hey JP, I wonder how our athletes like playing sports with masks on? I think we have a video on that. Let's roll it now. Good morning FHN. I'm Tia Reed reporting for FHN TV News. Today we're going to be talking to some of the athletes to see how they feel about the new mask rules. four members of the varsity cheer team um, so guys what's new about cheerleading this year okay so one of the things that's new about cheer this year is we um, are not allowed to uh, stunt yet so hopefully we'll be able to do that soon and then another thing is we have to wear masks and then we also have to tape them so um, for tumbling reasons if your masks fly around we have to be able to make sure they're secure and what's it like cheering with the masks on it's really hard to yell loud and we can't make facials, so that's kind of sad. We can't show our big smiles. But other than that, it's not too bad, except for when we're conditioning and running and working out and stuff like that. And last question, what events are you guys going to be cheering at this year? We are going to be cheering at the varsity football games this year, just like normal. Awesome. <laughs> two members of FHN's varsity football team. How do you guys feel about having to play with limited fans this year? Um, uh, it's, it's gonna be okay, because I mean, it's mainly about just playing, and we, we don't really worry about the fans that much, you know, just keep playing, happy with playing. And who are you guys giving your two tickets to? I'm giving my two tickets to my mom and my dad. As you can see, Northern, there are a lot of new rules for sports this year, but hopefully our athletes will do well. Signing off for FHN TV, I'm Tia Reed. I'm sure that competing and practicing with masks makes the job that much harder, but the Huskies are getting done in spite of the mask rule. That's all for sports. Sending it back to the hosts, I'm Allie Cornell. And I'm J.P. Smolinski. J.P. reminds me of a young Stephen A. You know what? I kind of see it. Well, Eli, I think we did a fantastic job at introducing the news and sports. Me too. We are very talented when it comes to introducing people. Unfortunately, that's all we have today. Signing off for FHN TV, I'm Camden Seymour. And I'm Eli Vanderkalk. And Cam, didn't you forget about the knock-knock joke of the day? Oh man, you're right, I did. I got a good one. Ready? Ready as I could ever be. All right, knock-knock. Who's there? Yeah.